Look, to me, the Cavs have to realize that this is not Draymond Green, okay? Draymond Green gets in your head a little bit. This guy, is he's a pseudo-villain in my mind. This whole idea that he's this big, rough-and-tumble guy, I'm not buying it, and I don't think the Cavs should buy it. The fact is, he outscored John Wall 14-0 in the fourth quarter the other night. This guy can play a little bit. They need to pay attention to him on the, on the boards and with the ball in his hand more than worry about whether he's going to set a hard pick on somebody. That's what the NBA was yeah. back in my day. Back, oh, we're going there already? That was quick, back in your day. Listen, I, I almost, I'm not worried about him as an offensive threat, though, either. So That's I think, what the Wizards said before but, uh, Game 7. So I think I, I would just, like, pretend he doesn't exist. Like, you have many more people to worry about. You need to be more concerned with Isaiah Thomas and Al Horford and Jay Crowder and Avery Bradley and Jalen Brown. And, and, and that was a flash in the pan, I think, that Kelly Olynyk went nuts in the fourth quarter of Game 7. Tell you what, if the Celtics need points against the Cavs and they're going to Kelly Olynyk, I'm okay with that because that means they're not going to Isaiah Thomas or Al Horford or somebody else. Well, one more word on the pseudo-villain thing. There's only one guy on either roster who's been suspended for punching somebody in the groin in a, in a game. Is this a trivia question? And it wasn't Kelly Olenek. It was Dante Jones in the eye of the beholder, this whole villain thing.